Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight, my daughter, my oldest daughter, Jean, is here. Jean Martin Hancock. Um, thank you. I'm so glad I talked you into this. She was a little bit reluctant. She's the one that looks a lot like her daddy, right? That's right. You do. You're a little bit like your daddy, too. You're awful sweet. So we're going to do a sweet recipe. And the sweet recipe started because... We had leftover candy from Christmas. And I... Can't throw anything away. Can't throw anything away. So, Miss Betty Champion made us a lot of candy. Now, we ate a lot of it, but we happened to have some left. And this morning, I thought, oh, no, I can't throw this candy away. So, we're going to do a dump cake recipe that started with cream cheese because today, I'm the queen of cream cheese. And to this, we're going to add Miss Betty's leftover peanut butter candy. The ingredients are an 8-ounce pack of cream cheese, two sticks of butter, a box of cake mix, three quarters cup of pecans, a bowl of leftover peanut butter balls and peanut butter fudge, and the juice from a jar of Marchino cherries. I can't throw anything away. Now, Miss Jeannie, we are just gonna cut up Miss Betty's leftover candy, and we're adding this to a eight ounce pack of cream cheese that we've chopped up. And you know we're going to have to have a Diet Coke with this because I'd say the calorie content to this would nearly kill you. But we're going to have our zero-calorie Diet Coke. That's right. Tastes all this sugar. That's right. I'd say a little bit of this will go a long way, but I could not stand the thoughts of throwing away this good homemade candy. And to this, we're going to add pecans, which happen to be left over from a cake I made. And then to this, we're gonna just cover it with the juice out of a jar of cherries. I think Nick may have snuck and ate all the cherries. And to this, we're gonna add our cake mix. That's why it's called a dump cake. That's a dump cake. That's pretty much it. This is dumped. I think the first time I ever had a tree dump cake, Susie Edwards brought one, you know, mm -hmm. when your daddy passed away, and a uh, good cake. We all had to have the recipe. Oh, we all asked for the recipe, you're right. You know, the fun thing about cooking is sharing recipes, and uh, we all have our favorites, and we all have things that we like to share, and we all have things that we love to get as gifts, like Miss Goldavine makes that cranberry stuff for me, and uh, y'all have special things. And I remember Miss Susie making the first one of these I ever tasted. And I think hers had cherries and pineapple in it, didn't it? It did. And you want to stick that in the oven? Sure. We're going to bake this for about 30 minutes at 350. Oh my gosh, Jean, it's hot out of the oven and we're going to spread a little bit of hot fudge. We had a little bit left in a jar. I think from a recipe we made a few weeks ago. We've spread that on the top of this. Hot and bubbly, and guess what we're gonna serve it with? <gasps> cool Whip. Cool Whip, cause I am. Cool Whip Queen. The Cool Whip Queen. We're gonna use light Cool Whip though. And I think I'm gonna have a Diet Coke. Now this is not for the faint at heart. And I'd say you might even serve this in a little bit smaller glass because it is very, very rich. <laughs> Great way to use leftovers. A box of cake mix, and I think it was on sale for 78 cents. So that was a bargain, wasn't it? Exactly. That was a bargain. Remember now, you know I'm going to end this with a Diet Coke. Got to have my Diet Coke. We look forward to inviting you back into my home. Come back and see us at Heart of the Home.